everyone and welcome back to another episode of police similar patrol officers i do hope you're having a wonderful day of course happy wednesday or whenever you are watching us and for this week's episodes we are going to be going back and revisiting one of the older mods for police and patrol officers the link for it will be in the description as is always and with that all being said, the only thing that we have left to do is decide where we're going to start today's shift. And I think for this episode, we are actually going to go ahead and we're going to do a night shift because I actually kind of fancy doing one. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start down here in Bannock. And I hope that you're all ready for this one, of course. And 119, you can show me 1041, 108. One nineteen, I'll be ten ninety seven code three to that major crime scene. One nineteen, show me twenty three on scene. Okay.
Alrighty, so we're going to have to do this one in two parts by the look of it, as we uh, don't have enough poles to secure both areas at once. That is not a problem. We will start by interviewing witnesses. Good morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Excellent, sir. Okay, what do we have here? Alfonso Conti. That is going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid. Alrighty, sir. You are going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Good morning, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you, ma'am. Okay, my S4, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid. Alrighty, ma'am, you are going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Morning, sir. Amanda Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir, thank you very much for that information. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Osvaldo van Leuven, that is going to be expired. Okay, sir, at this time I'm going to be giving you a citation for that expired ID. That'll be between $75 and $150, okay? And you are going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Aishi Green. That is going to be expired. Alrighty, sir. At this time, you're going to be getting a citation for that expired ID. That'll be between $75 and $100, okay? And you are going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Good morning, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Key, Oliver. That is going to be valid. And that's going to be a fake ID. Okay, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of fake ID. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. And anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. But a state of frank no nurse cost you. Do you understand these rights? And do you have any questions for me, ma'am? Excellent, ma'am. Anything on you that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me or otherwise? Okay, 119, can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 1015? 10 4, copy that dispatch.
Okay, that should be all the evidence. And now that that is done, we will remove all these poles and secure the other half of the crime scene so that we can get a proper description of the suspect. There we go. Okay, let's remove all these evidence markers here. One nineteen, I have a positive ID on a suspect. It's going to be Yang Akimitsu. It's going to be an Asian male with brown hair. And they're going to be wearing a green suit shirt with blue pants. I'm going to be out looking for that individual over. Ten four, copy that dispatch. Okay, it looks like he's actually moving from our jurisdiction here, so this could be a problem. Hoping he hasn't gone that way. Yeah, that could be a problem for us. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone who matches that description. I'm kind of worried that he may have actually left our jurisdiction, but we will have a bolo out for that individual, so it isn't the end of the world. We will uh, we'll get him eventually. So yeah, it looks like he's heading north, which would be... Looks like it's going to be into the downtown district. Yeah, this really isn't looking good. It really does look like that you may have actually uh, left our jurisdiction here. So I really don't think there is much else that we can do unless dispatch gives us an updated 20. I am firmly of the belief now that that suspect has fled the scene. 
so what I think we'll do is we will just uh, break off from this call. We'll call this one Code 4. And uh, like I said, we already have a Bolo outplay individual, so I'm pretty sure that we will find him so he won't get away with this. And this will be uh, brought to justice eventually. 119. That major crime scene call is going to be Code 4. And you can show me 10 eight. Really, dude? Come on. Literally just blew for a red light Thursday. Unbelievable. Now I'm going to be on a 1011. It's going to be of a silver van, license plate 1, Romeo, Hotel 840, occupy one time, no 32s needed. Okay, Yairo Jordan, that is going to be clear and valid. This is really not the best pullover spot, but there we are, it is what it is. Good morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. The reason for the stop is that you blew a red line back there. Okay, sir. Just smell some alcohol on your breath, okay? So for that reason, I'm going to ask you to step out the vehicle and move to the sidewalk for me, please, okay? Right, we'll continue this traffic stop on the sidewalk because this is really not a safe spot. Okay, sir, have you got any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle? Thank you, sir, really appreciate that. Okay, Roy Demir. Well, that is a not who we have on our database. So that's definitely a red flag. Okay, so that's going to be a stolen ID. Okay, sir, have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs that I should be made aware of? Okay, 0 0.77. He is quite lucky. Negative dispatch, currently 10 6. Okay, sir. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of a stolen ID. And you're also going to be getting a citation for running a red light and you're also going to be getting another citation for a broken headlight okay please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me and anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law you have the right to an attorney if you can't afford an attorney one be appointed to you but a state of franklin no it should cost you do you understand these rights and do you have any questions for me sir Okay, sir, anything on you is going to poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise. Okay, 119, can I get a 32 down to my current 20 for a 1015? 10 10-4, copy that dispatch.
Hey partner, thanks for coming out. This suspect is all yours. One nineteen, can I get a ten fifty one down to my current twenty for an impounded vehicle? Ten four, copy that dispatch. Okay, just gotta wait for so to get on scene and then we will be able to get out of here. Any day now would be appreciated, not like I don't have anything else to do. Finally, you took your time. One nineteen, that ten eleven is going to be code four. You can show me ten eight. Okay, where was that? I just heard that. 119, show me on the scene of an accident. Good morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir, thank you very much for that. Do you have any idea on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle? Thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. Okay, Martin Zhang. That is not a driver's license. Okay. Alrighty, Martin Zhang. That is going to be clear and valid, no insurance, and uh, no driver's license. Okay, sir. Have you consumed any alcohol, taken any drugs that I should be made aware of? Okay, sir, at this time, you are going to be placed under arrest for driving without a driver's license. And you're also going to be getting a citation for no valid insurance. Okay, please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. And anything you say can or will be against you in a court of law. You have the right of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one be appointed to you, but a state to frank to nurse cost you. Do you understand these rights? And do you have any questions for me, sir? Okay, sir. Anything on you that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me or otherwise? 119, one in custody. Okay, sir. For your own safety, I'm going to move you to the sidewalk. Come with me, please. And if you remain here for me, sir, and I'll be back with you in a moment, okay? Morning, sir. Can you put the phone away for me, please? Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? 
Okay, sir, thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle? Thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. Okay, shall you Carter? That is going to be valid, and that is going to be valid. Five Tango Hotel Foxtrot Five Niner. Okay, perfect. Sir, have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs that I should be made aware of? Okay, sir, you just bear with me and I'll be back with you in a moment, okay? Right, I'm wondering if this female over here saw anything. Good morning, ma'am. May I have a word with you, please? Oh, there we are, had it. Okay, apparently not. We'll, uh, we'll just, uh, Say that this she didn't see anything. What about this gentleman over here? Good morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Excellent. Really appreciate that, sir. Okay, Edward Shallaby, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, sir. You're free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you, sir. Okay, Kushiro Sanchez, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, sir. You are free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Morning, ma'am. Okay, you didn't see anything. Have a wonderful day. Good morning, sir. Okay, apparently I can't talk to him. Okay, well, there we are. Sir, thank you for your patience and cooperation. Here is an accident report for you. You are more than welcome, sir, and you are going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Okay, sir, thank you for your patience and cooperation. Here is an accident report for you. And 119, can I get a 32? That's my current 20 for a 1015. Ten four, copy that dispatch. One nineteen, can I get a ten fifty one down to my current twenty for an immobilized vehicle? Ten four, copy that dispatch.
119, can I get a 1051 down to my current 20 for an impounded vehicle? Ten four, copy that dispatch. And one nineteen accident scene is gonna be code four. And you can show me ten eight. Alrighty guys, that is gonna be that for this episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I do hope that you enjoyed that episode, of course. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing because I have plenty of other content just like this. But that is going to be that. And until the next episode, take care.